Blog Talk Radio. This is a DAB. I can feel the sun rays. Wake up in the morning on a Sunday. Walking down the aisle like a runway. Guess I got a smile cause I'm okay. I used to try the fast way. My friends catch me up like a propane. Yes, I got your back, it's what they all claim. They all claim. Yes, I got your back, it's what they yeah, all claim. Yeah. Ooh. Life is perfect, life is worth it, experience the best teacher, truth with surface, the next leader is you, no more black and blue, no more bruises, no more scars, no more feeling like you're useless, you done your dirt now, you're safe by God's grace, I see your nightmare, cause I was once there, better place is yet to come, I hear trumpets and drums, I feel the wind breeze, these will overcome like jet speed, jet speed, I am free, praise the king, I believe he delivered me from all of my wrong, wanna do it, I thought I was done, but wanna, wanna do, do it, it. Call me juggernaut, cause I'm running through it. Running through it, been through it, God knew it. Didn't let me fall out and gone through it. He's flowing through my heart and it's so fluid. He tells me where to go when to go to it. Ooh, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with you. Lord, I know that you know me completely. Yet you still chose to love me unconditionally. I know your son died for me, and his love set the people free. Yo, it's your boy DJ 9D, and I'm here to let y'all know it's going down September 25th between 7 and 11 p.m. at the Studio House Atlanta. Yes, Hook Up Atlanta is back. Mr. Hanky will be in the building as we rock to Twerk Later, Wobble, Living My Best Life, and more. It will be filled with live performances from independent artists, vendors, food, drinks, industry professionals, networking, and more. For tickets or to learn, visit AtlantaMusicIndustry.com. That's music with a Z, not S. Pre-sale tickets will be available. And yes, Kicking the Old School will be in the building, so come hook up with us. This is your boy, Bad Boy Billy Sly. Whether I'm just chilling in the studio or kissing a leading lady or out on the street promoting our new CD, Kenny G. Waller Bass, no matter how you play it, I'm down with Patricia and Mr. Stout on On The Move. Unscripted, baby. What's going on? You have tuned in to another episode of On The Move, Unscripted, with Patricia M. Going. Mr. Stout, what it do? Mr. Stout, you look tired. Is you tired? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a working man. He's tired. Oh, let me rub your back. <laughs> let me rub back. Let me give him a side right here. <laughs> so um, today I was inspired to do a live and just sing. Yeah. And I don't do that all the time. Yeah. But I was inspired by um one of the artists that's coming on next week, Zanira Isley. 
Okay. Yeah, I was past. I was going through my Instagram today, and I ran across her just singing, and she was just like she was just flowing. She she wasn't. You could tell she was confident in what she was doing, yeah. and she was just singing, and she inspired me. So I got on there and I just sang my little thing, and I wasn't worried about how I sang if my sounds, if my voice was cracking. Up. I was just singing, so yeah. it was like a really, really, really great thing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm one of the people who sing things that come from the heart because I feel like we're in a time right now where we need healing music. You know what I'm saying? We, do. we need music that's going to touch the soul. And so that's really where I'm at. And so Zamir is like that, but, and also the guest we have tonight right. um, is, uh, and I want to make sure I'm pronouncing her name right because she has a very unique name. Shylon. I believe it's pronounced Shylon. And we actually have her on the line and she can correct me if I am not right. <laughs> is it pronounced Shylon? <laughs> yes, you're right, actually. All right. Okay. Yay! You got it. I'm so yeah. glad you broke it down on your website. <laughs> yes, well, I, I have to because people get it wrong all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, um, I ran across you, I, I, I think it was some months ago, wasn't it, Mr. Stout, when I was yeah. first talking about her music? Right. Um, I ran across you, and I remember we did the conference, and I was just telling you about on Move Unscripted, whatever, whatever, and, you, you know, you said you would think about it, and, and I didn't hear back from you, but I kept listening to your music. I, um, I, I kept listening to, you know, the songs, and I'm like, oh, no, I, I, she coming on my show. I don't give a darn. I don't know how we about to do this. Right, I, I hate okay. to be a stalker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, beautiful song. So I like to take all the guests you. down yeah. memory lane. So if you would please, um, as I take you down the yellow brick road, you know, let us know where your love of music started. When did you start singing? Where you're from? Just kind of give, give us a, a quick bio about yourself. Well, I'm from Arlington, Texas. And um, music for me, the love of music for me started in the church, like a lot of our Black and African-American brothers and sisters. Um, So I was raised in a Baptist church, and my earliest remembrance is of a, I think it was like a revival or something. (laughs) And um, the choir was singing like a gospel rendition of I forgot the the artist's name. It's an old school artist, but he's saying they sing fire. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What was that? Was that Earth Wind and Fire? It's, I don't know. It wasn't no, it wasn't Earth Wind and Fire. It was, it was Ohio another players. like funky yeah. artist. The Ohio Players. It might. It might. Be. I think it was the Ohio Players. Yeah, Ohio that's who it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so they did their own rendition of that, and there were the lights were off at first, and they just put this grand show on it. It felt like there was just like uh, laser beams all over the church. And it was just a show, and I was like, I don't know, seven or eight years old, and I saw that, and it just changed my world. Um, I knew at that point that I wanted to at least be a part of the production when it comes to music. Um, putting on a show, and then later on in life, um, I just decided that I was going to not just um, make music that's going to do something positive for people. Like, I'm honestly not religious at this time, um, but I still believe in being the best I can be and motivating others to do that. So music has um, allowed me to share that desire to heal and uplift people. Um through its method, you know, so, but yeah, it started when I was really young. I wrote a a poem when I was in the second grade that won the second place literature award <laughs> that said, okay. God wants me to be a singer. And hmm. so the rest is my story. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that's I like awesome. it when, when people start off at that age, you know, compared to people say, well, they're, or if it's 16, 17, or 20 years old, I mean, because you know that it's definitely a gift right. at, that, at that age, you know, as you're, as you, you get that, that light that comes to you. I, I can remember writing songs like in the third or fourth grade myself, and I was like, yeah, I can do this, you know, and yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I definitely can, um, 
know, I understand we like where I was coming from from that and what gave you that energy to want to go, go out there and pursue this. So I was stage fright is all outdoors when I sang for the first time. When you got on stage <laughs> and sang for the very first time, was you was you scared? I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> um, and I I still get nervous to this day, but I just push through it now as I'm as I'm an adult. But yeah, it's it's actually kind of funny you ask that question because my nickname is Shy. And right. although I'm not shy anymore, <laughs> my being shy is what helped to push me forward to where I'm at now. Because I was shy, my mom put me in an etiquette school where I could learn how to be more outspoken and more outgoing. I would always hide behind their legs when people wanted to compliment on my dress or tell me, oh, come up and sing. We want to hear you sing. Because my mom would tell everybody I can sing. And she would just share all about, you know, moms and dads, right. they brag on their children. So, right. Right. But I was like, um, can I hide behind your leg real quick? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I was always nervous. Wow. Okay. So yeah. I was blown away by these two songs that we're going to share tonight. I was, And not just the songs, but the freaking music video. So I'm trying to remember which one it is where you're on the beach. Which one? Which song is that one? That's Peace. Oh, my God. When I saw that <laughs> music video, I saw the um I saw the music video and I was just like, wow. Yeah. Wow. So I really want you to talk about, you know, how what made you write come up with the um with the scenes and all that kind of stuff, but I want to play it first because I, I need people to understand okay. what's really cracking lacking right here. Cause I don't <laughs> want them to think this is just an ordinary show and no order like this is like there's there's meaning to her music. And, and, and if you listen to the words, melodies, especially if you look at that freaking music video, it speaks volumes. So I, I'm going to play piece first, and then I'm going to come back and ask you to explain piece and how and where the concept came for the music video and all that kind of stuff, okay? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Good. So we'll be right back, y'all. On the move, unscripted with Shy Line. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. Peace. <laughs>
uh, I like to tell Shalon that I'm really proud of her. She's doing a great job. I've been following her career since, uh, I want to say, for the last, like, five or six years. And, uh, wow. We've been seeing the growth, the tremendous growth, and uh, the artistry and the creativity and just the vocals, everything is just amazing. Wow. And uh, for, for Peace, uh, that song, Peace, I could, I could definitely <laughs> – I could definitely use some peace. I'm sure we all can, you know. Uh, but that song is so peaceful. Uh, when I hear it, I just, I could just see myself at the beach. If, even if I'm not, <laughs> I could just see myself at the beach and just relaxing right. and just chilling and, and just enjoy life, you know. And uh, every time I play, I do, I do achieve peace. I do feel it. That is so but, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Great. And you know what? That song. Your music. That's the reason why I chased you down, which I don't chase artists. It's inspiration. <laughs> but I had to chase you down because I wanted to talk about that your music and I wanted to introduce you to, you know, our fan base and people who will come back and listen to it on iHeartRadio or Spotify. We have people who listen all around the world, you know. And so I, I just love you know, your message. And then you also, you're into um, helping others and stuff. Don't you have a nonprofit or something like that? I do. And thank you so much for those kind words, by the way. <laughs> um, I do oh, have a nonprofit organization, and um, it's called the Spread Love Project. The focus is on eliminating the stigma and just the negligence of mental health. Um, like I feel like in, in, within the black community, because I feel like a lot of us don't want to recognize mental illness when we have it or when we're suffering from it in some way. So mm-hmm. I want to bring the importance of us, like even paying attention to it at all and, and doing something about it instead of just carrying on and just getting worse and worse. Um, I actually attempted suicide in 2010, mm. and uh, I'm a survivor. And mm. it's because I had gone through so much in my life with regards to, um, like, some domestic issues and um, sexual abuse and just all kinds of things, you name it. And it, I just never really – I sought help, but I never really trusted – um, I'm not not to sound racist or anything, but white doctors, I just felt like they couldn't relate to me in my situation. And I just um, talked about that. I just yeah. talked about that, Mr. Scott, when I was little. Yeah. We, 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 so we so I feel you on that. Like we, uh, as a whole, yeah. black folks need to have therapy and to speak to, these, to our people about what is really getting to the best of us. You know, because even with suicide, yeah. it's a thing that we don't speak about in the black community because we don't see right. it or hear about it as much. So it's one of those things, but it's happening right. all the time. Right, right. Yes. We got, yeah, we got another caller. Let me, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead and finish your, mm-hmm. go ahead. I was, uh, well, you can let them in. That's okay. I don't mind. Wait. Okay. So there's two callers on, on, on hold. Um, both of y'all don't hang out. Okay, I'm going to go to the first one I see here. Um, so <laughs> caller, you have, um, 404 in your number. Looks like it's an ATL. I don't know. Call it. Say your name and where you're calling from. Call it. Check out (laughs) caller. All right. So they must be listening in. We get that sometimes. I don't know why they just don't go to the website when they just want to listen in. All right. So uh, the next uh, number that we have is uh, you have 414 in your number. Tell us, please, your name and where you're calling from. Well, everybody just want to listen. Okay. <laughs> Call us. <laughs> I yeah. see your number. Okay, so they must just they, just the they don't want you. Yeah, then they, they, then they hang up. I don't know why they do that. Like, that's so weird to me. They're so, fans, anyway. They're fans, they're yeah, they're no worries. They're probably nervous. Uh, and, and sometimes they be having the phone on mute. They walk away in the kitchen and be turning the chicken and stuff and don't even know that we didn't mm-hmm. pull them in. But, um, yeah, I, I I can definitely relate to the mental health thing. You know, my father, you know, has had a long battle with mental health. And so whenever I see, like, 
you know, the homeless people on the side of the road, even though people are like, oh, you don't need to be giving them money because, you know, they probably got living in a mansion. They just come over here every day at nine to get their money, well, all that kind of stuff. But I don't, I don't feed into that because if that's the case, then that's between them and God. But I always give if I have it because I think to myself, if my father was on that corner, I would pray. That somebody will give him a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, or whatever, no matter what, because we got a big issue with with the mental health hospitals. A lot of them let the people out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so most people became mm-hmm. homeless and roamed the streets and stuff. And so I always see my father whenever I see them, and I always just pull out mm-hmm. whatever I have in my pocket. I do, I do. They they get me all the time. If they are living in a mansion, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say, but you know, I I just because I, I doubt they, it. But- but that's it's real, and then suicide is real. Yeah. People get to a point, and I and they said last year the suicide rate was the highest it had been. Right. And so you had a lot of people who were just feeling hopeless. You know, the whole world was just feeling hopeless last year. Yeah. You know, so we needed that song, peace. I, and I felt so much peace yeah. when I listened to it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try. That's I'm gonna try. Just call another opportunity to say something before I go on to your next song, Find a Way. That's the joint that I, I was talking about initially. That's the first song that I that captured me. But let's let let me try again. Hello, caller. Um, you have four oh four in your number. Hello, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Oh man, I think I <laughs> I'm good. I think I, I made a mistake and I had it on mute just talking and <laughs> going in. It, when I was... <laughs> Man, listen, listen, listen. I came on a little bit later, caught a little bit of uh, what you guys were saying. This has been a blessing just hearing, you know, you guys share some wisdom with the people. So I'm grateful to be here. Thank you oh, so much for having you. me. I appreciate you. So what would you like to say to Shailon? Uh-huh. And did you hear the song P? Did you hear that one? Well, I- yeah, well, actually, I have heard it before because I was, you know, to be honest with you, I was blessed to be able to work with her um, in the capacity okay. of music, my business partner and I. And, okay. um, you know, just being able to hear the song and work on some of the records with her, you know, it's been a blessing. So, um, oh, you, found you know, a just gym. to say the shot line. You found yeah. a gym. <laughs> yeah, you found a gym. You, you literally <laughs> discovered a gym. Like, her music is, 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 the freaking bomb. I, I chased her down. I, I swear to goodness, I almost um, a hula hoop last sold her, and I'm like, listen here, you're coming on, on Move On Scripted, and I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, honestly, man, it's a joy. It is definitely, you're right. I did, we did discover a gym, my partner and I, and um, it's just, you know, it's been an honor just working with her and getting to know her, man, because she exudes what she speaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the song, I tease her a lot. We call her Shy. You know what I mean? Because it's just her presence, her energy, all of that is it's just amazing. Just to talk to her on the phone and just hear her heart and hear where she's trying to go musically and how she you know, her plans to touch the people, man, has just been phenomenal. So, you know, like I said, I'm I'm honored, you know what I'm saying, just to be a part of her journey. So that's a blessing. And and gratefully, guys, I missed the song being played, but I'm so grateful that you guys liked it. Oh, you yeah, enjoyed the song. working on it. Oh, thank you. Play, uh, yes, we'll this is Marcus Henderson. He's awesome. <laughs> so, I'm well, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is it. by the way. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Marcus <laughs> Henderson uh, to Shylon, but in the music industry, affectionately known as Writer's Block. I'm a That's music right. producer as well. Um, okay. So yeah. So I, again, man, it's just a great honor, and um, hopefully, my uh, production partner, my brother, you know, what I'm saying, will be able to say something or you know introduce himself too. But um, it's myself and Church Boy, uh, Writers Block and Church Boy, we worked on this record and this album. So definitely a blessing, an honor. Uh, Thank you again. I appreciate you guys. You, you said Writers Block and Church Boy. I've heard those names before. And, yeah. and, and there is another call on, so let me see if maybe that's uh, Church Boy. Because um, he might have had to go to church real quick, and that, and then he had to call back. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? I'll say this, man. He, he may be a little shy. Oh, he might be partying already. His birthday is tomorrow, so okay. you know, happy you know, definitely birthday. trying to. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday! So, you know, shout him out one time. Yes. Oh yeah, he didn't drop the. Ball. He didn't. He didn't. Birthday. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't went back to church. We didn't even get it. He... 
<laughs> we pulled him in and, and, I, and damn blasted. <laughs> he said, talk about me, you <laughs> <quick." laughs> Right. Wow. You know so how it I'm is. Sure, I'm, I'm sure. Tell, tell Church Boy that, you know, he, he can call back, you know. He can call back. So um, I, the other song, the song that I actually stumbled across, I, I can't even remember how I got this how I came across you. Like, I don't even remember. It was a video through YouTube where you went through music. Was well, I just listened to music, music and just pulled like, her up or something? To, it was like a lot of independent artists, music we just like listening to. At the time, I remember like, it was like a few of them that we were like bumping into, like that song, this song, like that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Okay. Trying to like do some, some music for the show. Oh, okay. And okay, so that's probably what happened. I, I probably just um, stumbled across you and then just wouldn't let you go. So um, find a way, please. Uh, before I, I always like to play it first and then let you talk about it because I really need them to hear it. Like this song blew me away. Did you, um, um, Writer's Block, did you help with um, Find a Way too? That's that's one of the songs as well. You, you know what? I helped listen to it because <laughs> that's all I could do because it's a project when I tell you it was already a masterpiece. I'm definitely, you know, like I said, man, we're just blessed to be able to, to get in where we got in because we met her, you know, along the journey a little bit later. So, you know, we we here now and we're grateful. We on air with y'all because of this this connection. So, yep. So find a way is my cut too, by the way. Oh my <laughs> like, God. So I'm gonna play find a way, and then I also want you to talk about um, the music video. The music video captured me, and the song wouldn't let me go. And then when I listen to the words, I'm like, O M G. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and, and is this, well, I don't want to, let me play the song. Let me just play the song, y'all. Let me just play the song. All right. So we'll be right back, y'all. Let me play this. Find a way. Shy line. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, listen, listen to the words. I'm going to need y'all to Turn listen to Turn the words. Up.
Patricia M. Goins with On The Move Unscripted Ladies Roundtable Discussions. And you know, we bring it to you raw, unfiltered, uncut, and uncensored every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All you got to do is go to blogtalkradio.com backslash Patricia Goins, G-O-I-N-S, in case you didn't know my name, and tune in. Join our discussions. Have fun with us. We bring it to you raw. With purpose, on purpose. So you have tuned in to On the Move Unscripted with Patricia M. Goins and Mr. Stout. Yeah, do do? And we are interviewing Shylon. And that song is the freaking bomb. Okay, so let me bring it back in because I can't take it. Like when I hear that song, I'll be over here ready to cry, y'all. I ain't lying. Like it really oh my touches God. my spirit. Yeah. Like it goes deep yeah. down on the inside. And, and then even the music video. It's a time, it's a, uh, what do you call those those uh, time, what is that? Shalon, what's that hourglass. called? The hourglass. Mm-hmm. It's an hourglass. Uh-huh. When you ever learn to listen, your time is, you only here on earth for a certain period of time. You got a certain period of time to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So you need to let it, listen to mm-hmm. your inner man, your inner spirit, your inner God, because it's going to lead and guide you. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so explain that whole thing, that song, <laughs> that music. Well, I don't need to explain music. it now because you, you explained it. I mean, that's it. You You nailed it. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> you really did, but um, you want me to just like tell you how it came well, up with it? Well, it's only because or, I probably listened so. to it like twelve hundred times. You know what I'm saying? After I bought it, it was, like <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. But yeah, uh, well, give us your version of it. <laughs> it's very similar. Um, it's just about yeah, you know, tapping into like you said, your inner God, the powerful self that we are. I feel like a lot of us, I mentioned in the song. Um, are feeling insecurities, um, the things that we don't like about ourselves, and that in turn has us looking out at other people as if they were, like, I feel like we have, we see our reflection in other people, um, and one of the remedies I feel that the world needs is to see a, a power, a beautiful reflection in others, but you have to do that for yourself first. You have to be able to look in the mirror and work on that inner self first so that you can see all the beauty that's out here and and everyone. But, um, yeah, it's really just about getting our power back. I feel like a lot of us have given our power away, Um, Mm -hmm. whether we're watching TV and buying into the um, just like these, I really, I want to say false realities, but they can be real. We can we can make them real. But you know, believing that that's what life is about, and then kind of going out and repeating that, and and taking on other behaviors, but giving away our power. Yeah. So it's really just about taking our power back and finding our way back home, which is peace. Which is why I put find a way first before peace, because it's find a way to peace. Um, yeah, I hope that. I hope that makes sense and sums it up for y'all. It does. Show. But you, so, you nailed it even better than me. Because <laughs> I don't you like 1,200 times. Everybody like, all right, Mom, we got it. But, you know, find a way and, and get your peace. I know. Get, get, like, I, mm-hmm. I love the song. Um, as long as that's, that's yes, powerful thank message. you. It's powerful. Really good, powerful messages. It's what, it's what we need nowadays, too. Because what we're getting in, in, in a lot of things is on radio or, like I said, on TV. There are sort of like forced uh, idealism that's out there, and people are taking it on to their own life, where it's like finding mm-hmm. really what makes going to make you have that peace or that or that happiness. Because people are not going to be at the end of the day, they're not going to be happy, fully happy if they don't put that that time to themselves to get to know themselves. If people don't give themselves time to get yes, to know, who know they are. thyself. Ooh, yeah. that's huge. I actually so, just went to Egypt in June and. Um, what I my my biggest takeaway and everyone from that tour, there are probably like twenty seven of us, our takeaway was know thyself. That's mm. what our ancestors left in a nutshell for us to remember is to know thyself. Look mm. inside. 
and the right. answers that we are looking for on the outside, they're all within. Mm. Right. So, um, I know I don't know how much you know about me and Mr. Stout, but we deal with the independent um, indie, indie artists, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Mainstream makes it kind of difficult for a lot of us to um, be seen or be heard, or you know what I'm saying? They, they don't mm-hmm. give independent artists the love that they need to. They keep recycling the same 15 artists. Like, I'm tired of the same right. 15, 20 songs. So we have been creating a lane for independent artists is, right. is, uh, is what I want to call it. And so we have an event coming up on September 25th and it's called Hook Up Atlanta. It's actually in Atlanta um, at Studio House Atlanta. Um, and we have several um, independent artists who have come through on Move Unscripted and some of them who have actually purchased lots, you know, who haven't come through us. But for the ones who have come through us that we know they have great talent, we have been offering them, you know, if they want to perform, we've been offering them the, the you know, the ability to perform. And it's a two, you know, you only get to put, um, perform two songs. If your team, you know, is you know is willing to invest to get you down there on September 25th. I would love, I would absolutely adore for you to sing those two songs because people need that. I mean, even if they don't know they need it, they need it. Like there's so this music mm-hmm. they got out right now, it just makes you makes me want to vomit happy. So I get depressed. I be depressed as hell after I listen to a couple rap yeah. songs. I'm like, Dad, go on. Was life really that you mean? We we are in a healing process, uh, and we need to be. And this is yeah. the on is like it's we had a healing process and it needs to be heard in a major way i'm pretty sure you out there like globally and doing a lot of things but it's this it's that small pocket of people like around different places around the country around the world like it's their first time hearing this song and they know they don't need it because it's, it's like for me like just hearing it like you know through the speakers while we live on air it's like it's doing something for me like personally i'm like i need other people to hear this Mm. You know, mm-hmm. and, and so that event, mm-hmm. uh, because I'm an artist too. Uh, my producer is Mr. Hanky, the one who did um, Twerkulator and Live My Best Life and On the Way, all that kind of stuff. He's going to be the guest speaker there. I'm going to be speaking as well, and and it's it's really going to. We're trying to make it as big as possible. Um, we don't. You know how Atlanta is. Well, you may not, but um, writers block may know how it is. You know how you had those events in Atlanta and and people be popping up that you would never even think would be in the cut watching and looking. You know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm one um, of those people. I like to sneak into the events a lot, <laughs> a lot. So I sit there in the event and, and, you know, cheer you on for sure. So yeah, it's for, you're absolutely right about that. Atlanta is just yeah. like that. So, and there's a lot of people right now there, people are hungry for artists, for, for music, for, you know, so, because they know a shift in music is coming. People know, everybody in the music industry oh, yeah. knows yeah. that a shift is coming. They just trying to figure out who is going to be the shift. You know what I'm saying? Or what artist is going to be the Absolutely. Who's bold whatever. enough to be in the front? Absolutely. And so our goal for Hook Up Atlanta is a, it's a networking event. There's going to be vendors there, performances. We got a lot of bomb diggity performances. Um, of course, like I said, Mr. Hanky's going to be speaking. I'm going to be speaking. It's going to be a really great, we got a DJ, a great DJ. Um, so I would love, you know, uh, to offer you that opportunity if that's something that you and your team can work out. I would definitely love to have you on that stage and, and, and we're going to um, video it so you can always have the, um, you know, the live performance for your demo reel or whatever. But I, I would love, if y'all could make it happen, I would love for you to, to come and sing that song. Like, I'm literally, I'm truly a fan. That's why I chased you down. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw. I one day I stumbled. I was just I searched my name from time to time to see what people are talking about, and I stumbled across a YouTube video. I think it was like almost two hours long. I don't know. It was really long, and it was just you um, sharing your feedback about find a way in peace. And I was like, Wow! You see what I'm saying? Like, who is this woman? Yeah, I was like, who is this woman? And where, how did she find my music? This is this. It's awesome. I was going to say it's crazy, but it's not crazy. It's it's just it's powerful. Um, it really just told me that I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I should be doing with regards to my purpose in music. So, yeah. but, yeah, <laughs> I know you're a fan. 
Thank I am. You. And I appreciate and the thing you. Is, I feel that people <laughs> enter your life for a reason, season, or lifetime. Different people enter your life at different times because new seasons are upon you. New seasons are upon you, and there are certain connections that the only way that you can reach those connections is through certain people. And so the fact that I'm about to have this event, the fact that I'm my whole goal is just to give a platform for independent artists to just shine, and then I run across your music during this time, and then I don't let you go. So that, that was my spirit man saying, no, don't give up on her. No, go ahead and reach out to her. I know that's not how you usually do it, but... There's something special about her, and there's something important about her message. And then the fact that you just told me that there's more meaning behind your music than even I knew, the suicide thing, the mental health thing. I didn't know all that when Mm -hmm. I first heard it. I just love the song. I love the music video. And I just felt like the message that you were presenting is something that we need right now. We are now in the point where we need music that heals the spirit, that bottom line. And so, um, you know, like I said, if if y'all can make that, if your team is like, yeah, that would be something that we would like to do, it's right there in Atlanta and um, September 25th, and I, I love it. If not, I, I'm still happy that you did the interview, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I'm yes, I'm a fan. I'm I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I just. You guys are amazing. I'm I'm a mu I'm a music lover. I'm a music lover because, like I said, I'm an artist. I'm a music yeah. lover, and so when I I'm always I've been gifted that every artist that I felt like that's a hit right there, or that artist is gonna blow up, or that artist got the potential to blow. Every one that I've been running across in my freaking twelve thirteen years, I have not been wrong. So I just heard something, and I just felt like you have – things are about timing, you know, and I just feel like this is a time, and your music fits what people need. So that's kind of like why I – um, and God just didn't let me let you go. That's but, just bottom uh, do line. She, do you have other performances coming up throughout the summer or into the fall? I do, yeah. Um, I have a – what do you call it? A residency at a coffee bar here in Dallas area it's called Soiree Coffee Bar, black owned. Um, I have that going once a month. And then um, there is a music festival in my hometown. This will be the first time actually performing in, in my home city. <laughs> which wow. Is I've performed in so many other places, but the, my first music festival as well. So they're putting me on, and I'll be doing that on October the 1st. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Um, you ever done South thank by Southwest? Thank you. What was you, that? You never done South by Southwest? That's down here in, in Texas, right? Is that in Houston or something like that? It's in Austin. Austin. Yeah, I Austin. haven't I haven't performed at the official South by Southwest, like on a huge stage where the stars yeah. are. But I've performed, yeah, during South by Southwest at like a, a smaller event venue, a couple of them. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. that is. So nothing on September twenty fifth. <laughs> <laughs> not not as of yet. Well, yeah, you know, I was actually I'm... just looking at my calendar. You know, I really am planning to come out to Atlanta. Um, I've been getting a lot of love from there. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll definitely talk with my team and see what their thoughts are and, and what would be best um, and if we well, can make that happen. I, I would love it. I actually uh, have a group on um, Facebook called the Atlanta Music, the M-U-Z-I-C, um, industry. It's a group that I – it's a it's a group that I started – when I lived in Chicago, and then it just, uh, I got on the radio at 1100 AM in Atlanta, and it just grew. The group just grew, and now we have, like, almost 22,000 members, and a lot of them, like, when I look at the analytics, like, probably 50% of them are from Atlanta, so if you're getting a lot of love from Atlanta, it's probably because, you know, the stalker me been sharing the hell out your music. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, um, yeah, I just when I find artists music that I love, I just like to share it because my my prayer is that with me sharing this music, 
people from all over who have the ability to open doors will open those doors and provide those platforms for those independent artists. We need more independent artists to break through mainstream and and, and enough with this back, you know, in, in, in the back seat, you know, drop top, top, you know, smick, smickety bop, uh, run That's from the op. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that, what that, what that stuff is. These rappers, they, they all depressed. They all, you know, they, they need some love. So I just feel like yeah. um, this is the type of music that um, um, needs to be played. And maybe it will help to spark the creative bug in some of these artists who are stuck in one lane. Like, they're all stuck on the corner selling drugs, watching the girls drop it like it's hot. They're all, in, they're all stuck in it, but they're all stuck in that lane. That's you can compare hip hop to what I, I'm just talking about mirror but well, that's because all R&B, that I hear. R B is not doing that. You gotta change the station. Right. R but still it used to be where you could hear R and B, you know, hip hop and a mix and everything all on one station. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't have to go to this station to hear that and this station was, to hear that. This said is two hundred and two million podcasts out there. What, what do they have to do with the music? Because they play the music. Like, music. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> but I'm talking about when I get in my car and turn right. on the radio. All I hear is hip hop, uh, making me dot, uh, 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 drop, drop. And I just feel like we need yeah. <laughs> for more independent artists and, and, and give the listeners something else to listen to, like beyond this. Um, Stuff that's out now, like the create the artists, the rappers, whatever, they've lost their creativity. They're all in one lane. They didn't forget about all the other types of music they can be performing. Back in the day, every all the music was different. The hip hop and R and B was mixed together, you know, even on the same track, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Heavy D and all them, they rap, but they had R and B, they made it enjoyable. Now I'd be depressed. I swear to goodness. I, I'm like, uh. So, um, yeah, well that opportunity is open to you, um, Shylon, if you and your team are interested. I, I you know, definitely, I would love for um, y'all to be a part of it. So, I, I got a question for you. If you could mm-hmm. give uh, a word of advice or uh, encouragement or anything to an independent artist who um, is just really starting on the grind, they know they got a good message, but they're not really sure if the you know if people are going to like it, whatever. Like, what kind of words of encouragement or inspiration or whatever can you give to? someone who is a new artist and, and really trying to find their way around? Mm, is there a writer? I would say write from your heart. Um, and consider others. Um, not just yourself, but yourself is important too. And I would also say as far as just starting, there's going to be lots of obstacles that we will have to go through, um, I would say to stay patient and know that if you keep going, eventually you'll get to your destination. Um, Just don't give up, you know, just keep going. That's what has worked for me (laughs) with everything because I had a uh, a 15-year, well, not 15, uh, 2006, yeah, almost 15 years in the modeling industry, but for the first 10 years, I was hustling and grinding and struggling and striving. And I, I mean, I know that's not the most exciting thing to say, but I mean, what is the destination without the struggle? Like you, you get to cheer and you get that, that emotional feeling of finally I made it and I worked hard for this and I got it, you know? So, but after that 10th year of striving, I finally got signed to the number one modeling agency in in Texas and have worked with numerous huge household names all over the world. Um, But it's because I didn't give up. And I saw people that I started with drop out along the way. Now they're like doing other things, realtor or, you know, stay at home mom or teacher and nothing's wrong with those things. But had they not given up, I feel like we would probably be in the same place and maybe they'd be even further. But I know that, um, it's very important to just not give up on yourself. Take it easy on yourself. Be patient. Um, yeah, patience is a huge one because how you treat people, in no matter what industry you're in, <laughs> I think it's going to make or break your your uh, success. Right. Um, because you can't do it by yourself. 
for myself, you know, it took producers and mix and mastering engineers and musicians and people like you guys to give me interview opportunities and a lot of other things, you know. So definitely stay patient and be humble um, and realize that everybody at some point in time is going through something. So just, you know, try to have some empathy for for others. Just know that it's not all about you. I struggled with that growing up because I was a middle child and I was like, no, what about me? You know, I always wanted to be seen and in the forefront. But when I got older, I realized that, um, yeah, I'm important, but uh, that doesn't mean that I neglect and disown the the feelings of everybody else. You know, everyone matters. So patience, um, be humble, be kind, empathy is important. And never give up. That's what's up. We got another caller on the line, so let me pull the other caller. Okay. Hello, caller. You have two two one in your number. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Oh, they. And whenever I pull them in, they run. I don't. Why y'all scared? Why y'all just go to the website? <laughs> You know what? Um, so the website, if you just want to oh, listen and you don't want to talk, is uh, www.blogtalkradio.com backslash Patricia Goins. You can go to the website and listen if you um, don't want to talk. But if you call in, I'm going to pull you in. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so the yes, other thing will. about shy people today. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you know. I, I sure will. So the next thing I want to ask before we um, – um, get ready to head out of here. I, I want you to speak because you spoke about something very important, and that was, you know, how you went through, um, you know, a, a suicide attempt. So I just want you mm-hmm. to speak to someone who may be in that dark space right now, that dark spot, that that I can't see the light. Everything just seems dark light because you were able to get past that. Praise God. So what would you say mm-hmm. to someone who's in that space that you were once in? Mm. When people, when let me see, when I couldn't see the light, I had to look inside. I had to spend a lot of time alone. When I was going through those times, I was looking for help from outside of me. Um, and even though it is helpful, right? You you definitely want to surround yourself with positive people that will uplift you. Um, But when I was in that space, I didn't want to be around anyone. I I secluded myself a lot. Um, When you're there, what helped me, which is why I'm on this mission I'm on now, was listening to positive affirmations, was um, listening to positive, uplifting music, India Ari in particular. I had a lot of her albums. On replay, yeah. And um, even at the time, I was listening to Christian music. Just anything positive you can get your hands on, I would take advantage of that now. And don't be hard on yourself. Understand that we're all going to have to go through something, and most of us who go through the toughest times come out heroes because you'll be able to say you made it through and you'll be able to reach back and pull somebody up in the same way that you'll be pulled up (laughs) or the same way that you pulled yourself up. Um, So it's not the end. Um, Everything's going to be okay. Just see that the light is inside of you. It's Mm. inside of you. That's, that's how I saw it for me. Um, that may not reach everyone the same, but if anyone is going through this right now, I'm I'm believing that that will help you. You you know what uh, I I want to piggyback mm-hmm. off that and say whatever wherever you are right now in this space that just seems so dark and you just like you can't go any lower because I didn't been there you know being in domestic violence shelters and homeless with my kids and pregnant and, and not really knowing what was the next move when you get to those that, that darkness that where you literally cannot see the light I would one thing I would advise is put on spiritual music or put on music that's going to yeah. um, lift your spirits because what I've noticed is the mm-hmm. spirit of depression and the spirit of praise can't 
can't survive in the same atmosphere. So when you start mm-hmm. praising God and yeah. listening yeah, to praise you music, you the preach, spirit you know. of depression <laughs> has to leave. So I would say put on a spiritual music and understand Play that it's temporary. This space that you're in, this is a moment in time. And if you can get past mm-hmm. that, if you can if you can push past that, there's always a light on the other side. But you got to push past always. that. Always. Depression. You got to push past that that tr- those trials and tribulations. You got to know that God is going to provide. He's never going to just leave you out there. And what you're going through is mm-hmm. nothing but for your spiritual growth. There, he has something else that's bigger than this. But there's no way you can handle that if you can't get through this. So you've got to get right through so that you can get to that because whatever that is is for mankind. It ain't just for you. So I really mm-hmm. thank you so much for. Yeah coming on this show. I thank you for uh, not allowing the enemy to stop you because this was a very important show. I think more important than probably you and I even understand because there are so mm-hmm. many people who deal who do deal with mental health or who do do who do deal with depression or who have been trying to figure out how, you know how do I get through this this time right now. Time, time is temporary. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the present. You woke up this morning, and that was your gift from God. This is your present, and it, and, and, okay. and your tomorrow. You ain't can't worry about tomorrow because that'll have you anxious. And and, and yesterday, that's your past. Right. You can't worry about yesterday because that's gone and over. That'll have you so Whatever you do today is building for your tomorrow. So just get through today. Get through this moment. Get through this second. Mm-hmm. So I, I, it was more this this. This particular interview is more important than you realize, and I have a feeling that it's going to be heard or, or, or and, and re-listened to because most of the people come back and listen to are, are um, you know, because it's going to go on iHeartRadio, it's going to go on Spotify, Spotify, um, of course, mm-hmm. Facebook, YouTube, all the kind of stuff. So people are going to hear this. You, you, this is your point. You were supposed to be here today for this. So I thank you for not allowing the enemy to stop you because that's that's what happens mm-hmm. a lot of times. Our own fear, our own doubts, or our lack of faith keep us from grasping opportunities when really that ain't nothing but the enemy trying to stop you because he know that whatever you're about to say or whatever you're about to do is going to be powerful. And, and, and that's not what he wants. So I thank you for not allowing anything to stop you from doing this interview. And you inspired me because a lot of times I get on YouTube and Facebook and I talk and I talk about things that God inspires me to talk about. And the fact that you saw that video I did, not even knowing that you would ever come on, inspires me to know that whoever is supposed to see my faith, my lives or my music or whatever, whoever God wants to see, he's going to send them there. You were meant to find, you were meant to search that. All the you, all the freaking music videos and stuff on YouTube, and you just happened to stumble by the live I did about your music? Come on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. Please give them your social media, how they can find you, how they can donate to your, um, your nonprofit. Like, give them all your social media information. Yeah, sure. Um, if anyone wants to stay connected, you can find me at S H A I L A U all major platforms. That's all social media, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, you name it. Just my name uh, is pretty unique. <laughs> I haven't found another Shylon yet. Um, also, I did just recently release a new single. It's called Now. It's all about loving who you are in this moment. Um, yeah. So check that out. It's on YouTube. As well, I made like a quick little birthday video, released it uh, okay. last week. And uh, to donate to the Spread Love Project, you can just go to thespreadloveproject.com or um, you can join a run that I'm hosting, my first fundraiser. It's going to be held on October 30th at 4 p.m. in Arlington, Texas, but it will be available to everyone all over the world because it will be a virtual race as well. Um, again, that's the thespreadloveproject.com, and you can find me anywhere at S-H-A-I-L-A-U-N. <laughs> the Spread Love Project. I'm putting this uh-huh. in. Dot com. Uh, the Spread Love Project dot com. I'm putting this into this um, so I remember it when I get ready to upload this on iHeartRadio. 
So um, once again, I just want to thank you. Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to leave leave out with peace because I'm writer's block that he didn't get to hear peace. So we're going to replay <laughs> peace as we um, slide thank on up out of here. Um, tell um, what's his name? Church boy, church, church choir. Yeah. What was his name? Is church boy. Orlando is he from, <laughs> is he from uh, Texas? Is he from <laughs> Is he from Atlanta or is he from? What? Fun fact: We are. Uh, Church boy and I, we're actually in Atlanta and you know, Shalom's in Texas. So, right, so yeah, we, we definitely got to connect, we gotta connect guys. Sure. <laughs> yeah, your, your names are so familiar. I, I did a lot of work down there in Atlanta. We, we still do uh, currently. So, I'm like, I know I heard those names. Yeah, I'm actually headed the out there. that you guys have done, I, I, I've heard that. I'm actually headed out there on Saturday well, to really start that. promoting. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm headed out there on Saturday to, to promote hook up Atlanta so you know Atlanta is my stumping okay. ground it's where I was live on and off between Atlanta and Chicago for 20 years so um yeah so we're coming I'm coming I'm actually had a in fact I thought you were going to be out there and I was trying to get out there with you but then that didn't work out but I'm still headed that way anyway so um but yeah I well, appreciate you yeah I appreciate you Shylon um I appreciate uh and there's another I don't I'm scared to push and see if this is um, church boy or somebody else because somebody's called in and they may not say nothing but I'm going to give him one more opportunity because you just never know hello caller um, hi ah, oh. the <laughs> the that's hi. my see how you don't give up how you doing caller where you calling from and, and say, say your name please Hi, I'm Kiara. I'm from Arlington. Shy is my aunt, so I just wanted to <laughs> tune in and show my support. Oh. And my mom is here, too, listening. All right. Oh, that's what's up. Yes, family. So what would you like to say to her before we roll up out of here? What would y'all like to say? And your mom can um, talk, too, if she wants. What would you like to say to Shylon? Well, I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you. I've listen to every single song. I know all the lyrics from the back of my hand, and I'm just so proud of the project that you're doing, um, the love that you're spreading, and I'm so happy to be a part of it, and we're so proud of you, and we love you so much. And I did all that. <laughs> love you, too. <laughs> love you, too. I said she did all that. Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. So See how sweet. you don't that's give my up? Baby. I almost um, <laughs> out of here, and y'all wouldn't have got to say no. I'm so glad I came back and was like, let me try one more time. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> um, but once again, I just I, I thank you for uh, uh, using your gift to spread love, and I just pray that um, from this interview and all the things that you have set up to come, the different performances and things, that your music gets gets the attention that it deserves. Uh, the attention that is that is needed. There's more artists like you and myself and other people who have, you know, music of love and inspiration. Um, we need to come out. We need that platform is needed because we we're in the healing process from last year. You know what I'm saying? And the years yes, prior, whatever. Yes, yes. So we need more music that speaks to the spirit, to the spirit man, that spirit food. So I just like I said once again, I just thank you. Appreciate you, and y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. Um, for all my listeners who are going to come back and listen later on, um, if you didn't catch it tonight, Hook Up Atlanta, September 25th. I'm so excited, and we yeah. actually have a couple slots left. So if yeah. you go to um, hookupatlanta.eventbrite.com, you mm-hmm. can get tickets. So the pre sale tickets will end on um September I'm mean, on August thirty first. And then after that it'll be regular price. So anybody who um is ready, you better get it before October uh, August thirty first. Uh, otherwise you'll be paying regular price. But anyway, peace and love to y'all. We're gonna roll out of here with some peace. Oh my gosh. I, let me <laughs> thank you so much to it and pull it up. Yeah, yeah. it's you you should be so proud of yourself. Yeah, keep not doing just, what you're doing. Yeah, not just because you made it through one of the darkest periods, but because you used that time wisely. Those that, that 2020 when we were on lockdown, you were creating masterpieces. And so thank God that you you use that time wisely and we're getting to um listen to the the your fruit, you know, the work of your labor. So you're welcome. You're welcome. peace and love thank to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.
right. All right. We're going to roll out of here with peace. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, same place, same time, same hour, for the ladies' roundtable discussion. But until the end, what you want to say, Mr. South? Oh, I'll be South, on the air, South. too, on Saturday. Oh, Saturday, <laughs> yes. Scheme yeah, Beats yeah, Radio yeah, Music yeah. Review on Saturday. That's a brand new music. Yeah. So much. Wait. And if you ever need any type of extra promotion, whatever, Mr. Stout is the one. Mr. Stout is the freaking one. But anyway, peace and love to y'all. Right on. <laughs> peace and love. Peace. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. You welcome.
save Don't let others take our joy away Who will we choose today? Will we ever get away? That music, that hanky beat, 
the music cruise through your body till it reaches your feet. When one door closes, another door opens. You gotta have faith, baby. You gotta believe. Listen, y'all. They used to tell me. They said, Patricia, you want to sing. They said that music thing. You want to sing. But I didn't listen. You know why? There's nothing to hide for you. If you believe, you gotta have faith. Your dreams, baby. Just keep on walking, keep on believing, and have faith. Hey, hey. woo! Can you feel my music? That hate you be. Let my music cruise. Your body till it reaches your feet. God, tell me what a message that's just for you. He said, Have faith in your dreams, and they'll come true. Woman. Every superwoman needs 
Yo, it's your boy DJ 9D, and I'm here to let y'all know it's going down September 25th between 7 and 11 p.m. at the Studio House Atlanta. Yes, Hook Up Atlanta is back. Mr. Hanky will be in the building as we rock to Twerkulator, Wobble, Living My Best Life, and more. It will be filled with live performances from independent artists, vendors, food, drinks, industry professionals, networking, and more. For tickets or to learn, visit AtlantaMusicIndustry.com. That's music with a Z, not S. Pre-sale tickets will be available. And yes, Kicking the Old School will be in the building, so come hook up with us. Great rise, beloved. This is your girl, Kimberly McCann, a.k.a. Queen God the King Advocate. And you are listening live to On The Move, Unscripted, On Purpose, The Ladies Roundtable Discussion, where we talk about everything. Make sure you tune in every Thursday night at 8 o'clock from 8 to 10, so we talk about whatever you want to talk about. So make sure you tune in at 8 o'clock every Thursday, 8 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. with your girls live on the move, unscripted, on purpose. And remember, whatever you do, do it on purpose with purpose. <laughs> 